Hello Aries, welcome to another 411 love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Rune, Sun, Room, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind, okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries in love? As always, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. And we're going to be looking at the 411 about your connection, how you feel about each other, what's going on, what you need to know, and what will be the potential outcome, okay? All right, Aries, let's get into this. Let's look at what's going on in this connection between you and the person you are dealing with. Spirit, what is going on with Aries in love? Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. For me as a reader, this is a card about unhealthy attachments, unhealthy bonds, being emotionally dependent on a connection or what is happening in a connection. Let's see what else we can get here. What else can you tell me for Aries, please? Oh, that one just fell out. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Every time I see this card, I think there's something around you or someone around you that you might not be recognizing or missing altogether. Like a missed opportunity is what I keep getting with that card. It reminds me of the Four of Cups. If you're not focused on the right thing, you might miss it. And if you don't keep an open mind, you definitely will miss it. So we'll see what we get with with these energies, Aries. I feel like with codependency, I'm also getting that this has been going on for a while. So the Aries that I'm talking to, this is a connection that you've been in for a while, or this is someone you've been in some sort of tug of war with. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting the tug of war scenario, but I am. All right, Aries, let's get into this. Let's see what other information we can get about what is going on in this connection. Spirit, tell me more, please, for Aries. Tell me more, please, for Aries. Soul rising and Venus. What's going on in this connection between Aries and this other person? What can you tell me about what's going on in this connection? You will know, whoa, what happened? You will know pretty soon here whether this is your reading or not, Aries. Hang on. My cards are going crazy. What is going on in this connection? The star, Aquarius energy. This is hope, faith, renewal. Knight of Wands, okay. Someone's going after their wish, after something here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be you going after something as well. And Nine of Wands. Yes, this is what I was getting with codependency in the sense. Because Nine of Wands for me as a reader as well, it's a card where a lot of time has passed. So much time that you're now exhausted. That's what the Nine of Wands is about. It's about being guarded, on guard, on the defensive, watchful, wary, not really trusting anybody because of what you've been through already. It's someone that's been beat up all along the way but they refuse to completely give up. So that's what the Nine of Wands is about. And for me as a reader, for that to happen, you must have been in this war for a while, you know? It's not like you were just there for like 10 minutes and dipped, you know? Not to be at the state that you're in now. So I feel like this is something where the connection has gone through its ups and downs here. So let's see. Should we use a different deck here? what else we can get. Help me clarify these energies for Aries. Tell me about this star. Someone in this connection, and I say someone because this is mutual energy, so you're both here. Someone has like either some sort of healing to do or hope or faith in something. Let's see. Tell me about this star. Oh my goodness. 
OMG. Okay. We got the Three of Swords. So I'm thinking this could be a situation where someone's needing healing. And the Knight of Coin, not a Knight of Coin, the King of Coin, reverse. I feel like uh, someone's disappointed or um, has gone through something painful because the other person either either the other person didn't give them something or couldn't commit to them or they didn't get what they wanted or expected here king of coin reverse the king of coin for me usually is already in some sort of long-term commitment already a very stable grounded person when he's reversed it's someone that is a little bit too focused on money um, kind of selfish thinks of themselves um stingy you know they don't like to give sometimes as well when they're reversed like this it could mean um for me as a reader that this is someone who's in a partnership where they're not the best partner for taurus virgo capricorn energy can you get one more for the star for aries please queen of wands whoa okay Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is a partnership where there has been a lot of pain and there needs to be healing is what I'm seeing so far. Bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Swords. So this is like fear. Like there's fear, uh, sleepless nights, anxiety. That's not codependent energy. That's like emotional. Your emotions are not really, they're not the most healthy, whoever is feeling this way. One of you is. I feel like once again, this Queen of Wands, this Knight of Wands, it's like it's like they want something, but instead they're just getting like pain and disappointment with the Three of Swords. They need to like heal something that is not working. That's what I'm seeing so far. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands about? Seven of Coin. Another card about time, investment, effort and having doubts or worrying that something's not going to pan out something's not going to grow it's not going to be what you expected this is probably somebody that wants something again that they're motivated taking action towards something here yeah the lovers gemini energy uh a partnership a choice between partners what's this three of cups reverse my goodness <laughs> I've been saying this in other videos, joking that I should change my channel's name to the Three of Cups channel because seriously, every sign, like what is happening? I'm not going to take that, but I just wanted to look. Yeah, Ten of Wands. See what I'm seeing here? Ten of Wands, another card for me that also resembles time and weight. You know, like maybe a lot of baggage in a connection, a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities, something that's a little bit too heavy to carry. This could be in regards to a partnership of some sort. Oh my gosh, and at the bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Swords. What is going on here, Aries? There's something here that's off about this partnership, about investing in a partnership. Can I get one more about the Knight of Wands? What's this Knight of Wands about? King of Cups. Well, someone's motivated by their emotions, how they feel, their love, their, you know, there's love here. So someone I feel is going after something because of love or uh, going after the person they love. Still having an attraction, um, still having um, a fiery um, interest in someone, which to me, it's like, you know, there's chemistry, there's attraction, there's even possibly physical intimacy. Um, I feel like someone has really invested in a partnership because of love, but it hasn't been perfect. Like there's something here, like maybe there's a third party interference or a lot of pain or baggage in this connection that has left someone feeling like this. Like, you know, how much more can I take? How much more can I deal with? You know, this person's like all beat up. They have like bandages around their, their head and everything. And trust issues because of everything that's happened. They don't trust people that, that easily. They don't open up to people that easily. They've tried to create some sort of barrier here to protect themselves. 
Tell me about the nine of wands. My cards really want to talk today. Tell me about the nine of wands, please. Eight of coin reverse. Yeah, something's not working. Someone's not putting in the, the, the effort that's required or uh, someone's not able to put in effort. Someone's not focused, distracted, uh, unable, you know, sloppy work. That's what the eight of coin reverse is about. Can I get one more, please, for the nine of wands? This could also be someone that has lost a job or is having difficulty with work. Four of coin, holding back. Holding tightly to something here. Guarding themselves. Another card about being guarded. Can I get one more, please, for this nine of wands? So I don't know what is going on here. I don't know if this is both of you or one of you in this connection. But I feel like because of everything that's happened and not worked out, ooh, justice, Libra energy, someone is almost like trying to protect themselves but not giving up either. Oops. Even though there's been disappointment, regrets, even though they might feel like things haven't gone their way. You know, like this is just disappointment after disappointment justice um energy here someone trying to uh rebalance the situation but you know what i'm seeing here with justice which is weird because i usually don't get this with this card this card is about balance um fairness justice right but what i'm seeing here with the eight of coin reverse and justice i'm seeing someone's trying to do the right thing and the other person's not playing someone's balanced and equal and wanting things to be even but someone's not really needing that person halfway or even at all i feel and this could be because they can't or because they won't you know it's really going to depend so let's see how you feel about each other i'm going to be using my stellar energy oracle deck this is a deck that i sell in my shop it's a deck that you can print from home i really love it i'm thinking about making this into a physical deck we'll see how that goes but for now i really love using it i got mine printed at staples so you can get it printed somewhere like that as well all right so let's see tell me about aries what are their energies in this connection spirit tell me about aries please what are their energies in this connection how are they thinking or feeling balancing act imbalance indecision juggling you're trying to restore balance in a situation. Yeah, this I feel like is you with the justice card here, Aries. Maybe you're juggling or indecisive about something. Maybe you need to, you have a lot on your plate. Tell me about Aries's person. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Sweet dreams, fantasy, daydream, imagination, this connection is more than you dreamed of okay so this person at the bottom of the deck i have far apart distance separation divide distance is affecting the strength of this connection and right behind that closed off so i'm, I'm picking up something like um this person that you're dealing with, and by the way, Aries, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. I feel like this person, that is exactly what they are. They're a fantasy. This is, this is something that I feel is not really real. It's a dream. This person maybe has fantasized with you, has maybe made you promises they can't really keep. Maybe this was just really sweet, really... Um, strong connection but that doesn't mean that it's it was completely real we'll see tell me about these two and how they're feeling about each other please spirit how are aries and this person feeling about each other tell me about aries and the energies they're bringing to this connection please me about Aries and the energies they're bringing to this connection. Oh, they wanted to give me three of wands reverse, nine of swords reverse. So you're overcoming some sort of fear. Hopefully, hopefully, that's not a mental breakdown. 
because the Nine of Swords reverse can be that. Now with the Three of Wands reverse though, in the Chariot, I'm getting like you want to move past this. Um, you're becoming impatient, frustrated, thinking about just leaving all of this behind with the Chariot. And again with the with time, time. Temperance at the bottom of the deck, Three of Wands reverse. Three of Wands upright is someone that's waiting for, you know, with expectation. They've already put in some plans in place and are now expecting some sort of result from that. They're ready to venture out, see what else is out there, see what the world has to offer them, right? But when it's reversed, there's somebody that has either not planned very well, not taken the best steps in order to, to, to set themselves up for success. And so now they, they're making mistakes, they're becoming impatient, they're frustrated, they might miss the boat. Okay, remember what I said about keeping an open mind. I have Sagittarius here at the bottom of the deck. This is some someone that's trying to make things happen. I feel like you're trying to restore balance. You're trying to move forward, have success in this connection. But you know what, Aries? If that's the case, you cannot do this by yourself. This is not, you know, relationships, it takes two to tangle, like they say. Both have to pull in, pull, pull their weight or it's not going to go anywhere. And I see it time and time again. Cancer energy with the chariot, by the way. You could even be um, making a physical move or traveling, maybe coming, going to see your person. Maybe this is long distance because I had far apart at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about uh, the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? What are their energies, please? Yeah, Six of Pentacles Reverse. This is someone that is not able to reciprocate. Uh, they're giving more than you or you, they're giving way less than you. It's uneven here. There's in, an imbalance. Three of Cups. I'm really hoping this isn't a third party situation. I mean, it doesn't have to be another person. It could be something here that just is getting in the way. Seven of Wands reverse. Someone that's no longer resisting, no longer able to fight, no longer able to stand up for themselves. They know they don't have courage. The Seven of Wands reverse. Um, or they've lost courage, maybe because they've been fighting so long that they their strength is 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 giving in, you know? Bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So now I have a King of Pentacles reverse, a Queen of Pentacles reverse, and then this like King of Cups here. Three. Queen of Pentacles reverse. They're unable to give. Judgment reverse. Yes, this is somebody that is unable to give to this connection. For whatever reason. They're not giving you what, what they should be giving you, at least. So let's see, how is this person thinking or feeling about you? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck here. This is my first physical deck. I'm still working on perfecting this and putting it on my Etsy shop. So um, I don't know if by the time this video is up, if they'll be available. Probably not, but check my Etsy shop just to double check. It's linked down in the description box. Tell me how this person's thinking or feeling about Aries. Tell me how this person is thinking or feeling about Aries, please. You are my soulmate. What else can you tell me about how this person is thinking or feeling about Aries? I have a lot on my plate. That's that ten of wands. You make me happy at the bottom of the deck. So. You know, I'm feeling like, again, this is a very strong connection between you. But there's something in the way, you know. You might make this person really happy, but there's something not quite right here. Let's see. What else do you need to know? What's the 411? Any hidden factors, blocks? What do we need to know? What else do we need to know about this connection between Aries and this other person? 
Aries, if this is resonating for you in any way, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating for you. I cannot respond to all the comments, but I read them all and I love hearing from you. All right, let's see. Any other messages for Aries regarding this person? What? Okay. Tell me first, um, potential challenges or blocks, please, in this connection. What are the challenges or the blocks to this connection, Spirit? Challenges or blocks, please. Ten of Wands, reverse. Challenges or blocks, please. Three of Coin. Okay. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? I know I'm gonna get comments too about like some of the reversals that you see in my deck, but my decks are completely mixed. I, you know, they're completely mixed. They don't they don't start off as upright decks and then I just shuffle them on camera. Like they've already been shuffled plenty of times. What else do we need to know about Aries and this other person? King of Swords reverse. What do we need to know, Spirit? What are the hidden factors here? What do we need to know? Ace of Swords. What's this in order to come out? Ace of Coin reverse. Two of Wands reverse. Yikes. Okay. I feel like you need to have clarity about something that has to do with this connection. Either something that this person is telling you or not telling you. There needs to be a very serious discussion with the King of Swords reverse. Ace of Swords upright. The challenges of the blocks, we have that burden that I've been talking about. The Ten of Wands reverse. This is a burden that when it's rever when the Ten of Wands is reversed, someone cannot keep it up. I have a lot on my plate, yes, and it's gonna fall right on your head because this is someone that literally cannot keep it up. This is someone that even their health could be affected by the, by, by the fact of like whatever is weighing on them, whatever responsibilities, obligations, they cannot do it all alone. Um, or they don't have the strength to keep going with what they have. Three of coin, this is also a challenge of a block or a block because someone's unable or unwilling to put in the necessary work in this relationship, Aries. And I feel like part of this, the problem here is that someone has been hanging on because of the time invested. Not because it's a great connection or a great relationship, you know? I could be wrong about that for some of you, but for others of you, definitely. I feel like this is a relationship or a connection that has been, has had more bad days than good, but someone's still hanging on. So let's see. Let's get some clarity here. Spirit angels and guides. Give me some clarity, please. Show me what I need to see for Aries. Tell me about this Ten of Wands reverse. What's this about? Nine of Wands reverse. Again with the someone needing to give up. The nine of wands reverse this is someone that again health could be affected um complete like like being overly defensive you know terrible trust issues like this is someone that cannot trust and it's not their fault but you know it's because of everything that's happened i'm also but i'm picking up it's more like someone's ready to give up tell me more about the ten of wands reverse yeah three of swords again very difficult situation why is the three of coin here why is this a challenge or a block empress why is the three of coin a challenge or a block it could be that there's somebody else involved or it could be that um Got the ace of swords, death reverse. Okay, once I'm not gonna take those because they kind of fell out of the deck. It wasn't wasn't like um, it's because my my hands are too small. 
um tell me about the three of coin but this empress is throwing me off uh she represents love beauty expansion growth fertility manifestation but i'm not picking that up seven of wands the fool It's like this person wants to fight for their empress. They want to put in work. They want to have a new beginning. Um, take a risk. You know, it could be that this was someone's intentions. I have the Ten of Swords reversed though with the Six of Cups reversed. So I feel like this is something that maybe ended in the past or someone wants to move on from something that happened in the past maybe ask for forgiveness and move on or just completely start a new cycle i don't know if this is you or your person aries but i feel like there's it's almost like there's resistance here like it's almost like this empress is seeing resistance to a new beginning and it's like they just want to like cut this off that's what i'm seeing here or at least talk about it with, with honesty. Like, what is this? Where is it going? Are we having a new beginning? Are we going to be able to grow? Because you're not working on it. Or you're not able to work on it. Or whatever the case may be. The Ten of Swords, is, when it's reversed, it already kind of took place. Very rarely, sometimes for me, like, it's like someone trying to avoid an ending, like, trying to, like, when it's already, like, close to being ended or, or something's close to being, like, ter a terrible ending, they kind of can see it and they're trying to, like, stop it. Very similar to the tower. But the Ten of Swords Reverse is really someone that is just, this has already happened, you've hit rock bottom, you were probably betrayed and had a difficult thing happened to you or event and now it's ready it says it's time to move on into a whole new cycle and that's why the fool is here it could also be for some of you that this is an empress in the way of this connection blocking a new beginning okay why is the king of swords reversed Why is the King of Swords reversed? This could be someone that is a terrible communicator. It could be deception. It could be someone that's extremely distant, cold. Tell me about the King of Swords reversed. This is what you need to know. Ace of Pentacles reversed again. Remember when I put those cards down? The Ace of Pentacles came out reversed. This is a whole new deck. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse, please. Eight of Wands reverse, Six of Swords. You know, it's almost like this person, I'm seeing a few things here. I have the Nine of Swords at the bottom. I'm seeing a few things here, Aries. Give me a second because I'm getting so many messages. It could go like, you know, depending on your situation, this could go in several directions. Okay, the first message that I'm getting, this is for maybe half of you <laughs> or some of you just watching. Um, this is someone that deceived you about an opportunity. Instead of an opportunity, there was a loss. You know, it, it wasn't, it never took place. This is an opportunity, a commitment that never took place. With the Eight of Wands reverse, it had no real direction or real action. It was kind of at a standstill. Um, and I feel like someone probably left or is considering leaving because of this. For others of you, <laughs> I feel like this is someone that's lying about leaving a commitment. Um, I feel like the, the communication is not, like they're not telling you everything about that, about a departure. They're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna leave them, or oh yeah, I'm gonna leave that situation, or yeah, I'm gonna move, something like that. Um, I feel like it's it's a deception. There's there's deception there. 
I feel like this is you no matter which way that this is going. The Nine of Swords. Worry, stress, fear. I have the Hierophant right after that. Taurus energy. Some of you could even be wondering if this person has been married or in a commitment this whole time and they've been lying to you about it. Some of you could be worried like this person's really not going to leave a situation, whether it's a commitment, a home, a location, a job, uh, whatever it is, you know, a certain friend group, whatever it is. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Swords, please. This is open, honest, direct, clarity. Queen of Cups reverse. And I have the Six of Cups. I want to come out there reverse. Heartbreak, disappointment, emotional codependency. It could even be uh, emotional manipulation. Queen of Cups reverse. Her judgment is blocked. She's unable to see clearly because she's so... Um, emotionally, there's a lot of, 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 of emotions going on within them. And so it's blocking their clarity. This could really be that someone is heartbroken too, disappointed. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a long video. Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a very serious conversation here. Something, if this is not taking place, this has to take place because I don't feel like this Queen of Cups can deal with this anymore. Um, I feel like they're becoming this Queen of Swords or this is just the energy that they're bringing to this, this situation. With the Nine of Cups, I feel like someone is really like um, thinking of their wish being granted, thinking of themselves. And I feel like them having their wishes fulfilled but not the other person it's like it's causing problems. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Nine of Swords, yeah. I feel like, you know, tell me more about this Nine of Cups. Knight of Swords. This is gonna come in quick. This, this is gonna be communication coming in quick. Um, some sort of truth, I feel. I feel that this is a truth I mean, we have the Ace of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords. This is a truth that um, might not might be difficult to hear. It might be a very difficult conversation to have because I feel like it's gonna it's your worst fears realized. Whoever has been stressed or fearful uh, about a situation, I feel like your you your suspicions were correct or your fears were not unfounded. If that makes sense. All right, so let's see. What is the potential outcome here? This is a very complex reading. Like, if this is resonating with you, please let me know uh, in the comments. If it's not resonating with you, that's okay. It just wasn't your reading this time around. Also, if you're interested in um, learning the tarot for love, check out my ebook, Love Tarot Made Easy. I go over all 78 cards and interpret them for love. I have like a bundle in my shop check it out it's linked down below all right let's see what's the potential outcome here for aries i'm gonna um pick a few cards here for this uh video and then i'll take it to the extended where i'll clarify the potential outcome and uh look into your person's true intentions what their next actions will be and any advice from spirit potential outcome please in the near future for Aries and this other person. Oh, no. <laughs> Three of Wands reversed. Whole different deck. Strength card, Leo energy, Eight of Cups reversed. And Page of Swords reversed. So again, you know, I feel like someone needs to be strong enough I feel like someone's going to find their inner strength in the next couple months. 
Strength card is a card about compassion, control. Control through kindness and empathy. Finding a different way of controlling a situation. Um, it's a card about letting go, not being so forceful, having courage. It's a beautiful card, the strength card. You're either dealing with a Leo or there's something coming that you need to be in this energy for. Eight of Cups Reverse. This is someone who is either delayed or blocked from leaving a situation or is returning to a situation they left. It's really going to depend on how I clarify that. But I have the Page of Swords reversed, wrapping this up, and I don't like this energy. This is someone who is not telling you this, the whole story. This is someone who is telling you only half truths. Um, this is someone could, who could even be gossiping about you, saying one thing to your face, but something else to the people behind your back. This is someone who is uh, being deceptive through omission. So I feel like there's some something happening here. And, and you know, and again, with the three of wands reverse at the very bottom of the deck here, there's that impatient energy, that frustration, that missing the boat energy, an opportunity that someone's missing due to their own behavior. Um, if you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. That helps us grow and helps the channel a lot. Thank you to everyone who has already done that. Don't forget to leave me a comment if this resonated for you. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.